This site, download now. That's very unfortunate. What's going on guys, it's your boy Cash, and I wanted to do this video because I've been using that character <laughs> as a loner, unfortunately. If you've got a problem, speak up. And I really wanted to do a video on this guy because I really think he's kind of crazy. <laughs> he's literally helped me get to that stage. That was uh, actually level 10 of Chronic or whatever the hell his name is. And I just wanted to kind of go over him and why he's so good and why I actually failed the run and things like that and how he actually died, right? Now, he's what's really cool about him is that he's actually a defense scaling unit. So he's actually meant to be like very, very tanky. He can, as you can see, he can kind of withstand a fight like that for a long period of time without really uh, cracking. But it, there is a weakness to this man, uh, unfortunately. So uh, as you can see, they, they kind of recommend to put him on Hades and stuff like that. You can see it because he can life steal it up. Let me go to his actual kit. So his S1 actually is uh, deals damage equal to 30% of his attack plus 60% of his defense. Uh, with a 60% chance of inflicting attack down. Now, obviously, that's phenomenal because he has high defense. You attack down someone, and then it's going to be incredibly hard to take him out uh, And that's on his basic attack. So that's why you'll see some of these. Uh, they will have counterattack, or they'll actually have defense. Now, defense in the set is 25%. So the only way you would say, I don't need 25%, I don't, I don't need that, is if you're somehow getting that, from the actual things like as you can see here this is plus 15 that's weird this is 53 bonus and this is only 36 oh no no it's not weird this is a uh, a six star and this one's a five star look at the difference between that jesus lord but just for example you would say that you know i don't need i don't need uh the uh, the bonus from the defense set i have so much defense coming from this these two sets down here I don't really need to run this set. I can run something else. I can run something else that's going to give me more utility, like counter. Especially when you're doing Hades. I feel like when you're doing a lifesteal set that you should be attacking as many times as you can possible. Uh, but also giving him more defense is great. But then again, is he getting that much from the 25% when he's already able to get, what is that? That's 80, no, no, 80, 89. He has 89% increased defense here, plus 25% there. That might be overkill. Uh, just for an example of what, what you, you know, maybe you might not need that much. And then he has the passive, which is the uh, reading rainbow. Here we go. <clears throat> Enter conductor mode for one turn upon the end of each turn. Now you really need to word this better because it is confusing. The end of each turn would be crazy because it would be the enemy's turn as well. But when they usually say that, by the way, in this game, it's the end of the character's turn, the end of their specific turn. And it deals damage equal to 95% of defense. So it has no attack scaling, it's just pure defense. Again, that's why they have the defense that high. But again, I feel like that's diminishing returns after a while. Uh, now, that skill does it to all enemies at the beginning of the next turn. Uh, one stack of Thunder Blessing is applied when attacked while Conductor Mode is active. So every time you get attacked, you will get a Thunder Blessing, which increases your defense if you see right there decreases the defense even more by 20 percent upon receiving damage stacks up to five times which can give you 100 percent defense and that's why i'll even say even more you probably don't need to run <laughs> if you get a good roll like let's say if your rolls are pretty terrible then i can understand your oh, damn my defense is still trash because i didn't get good rolls uh, on the on those bottom years i need more defense but you're getting defense in the kit too so you know, just, you might not need to overdo it like that. Just, just saying. Now, what we saw that happened in that run, immobilization removes conductor mode. So if he's not immune to anything, you'll see in the next skill that he does have immunity in his kit. But if he does somehow get screwed over and he gets uh, stunned, you can remove conductor mode and then also he loses his turn. So that is the best way to counter this guy. I know sometimes I've heard people having issues with him, but that's the best way to do it. Uh, especially if you can one strip the immunity and then stun him or stun him before he even gets started. That's a, a good way to do it. But stunning most characters is a good way to <laughs> It's a good way to beat them uh, when they can't move. Uh, but what another thing was good about here and why you might want to go counter or you might want to go crit when 
an active ability crits uh, ability triggers a crit, reduce the cooldown of Thundercrack by one turn. Again, I'm actually not too sure about this because I do not have the unit to test this out. It would be much easier. Uh, I could actually, you know what? I'll, I'll do one more uh, showcase run. I have another person on my friends list that has it, and I'll try to keep track of it. If it's just their crits, or is it just my crits, or a combination of both? We'll see that in a couple in a couple of seconds. Stay tuned. You can see scaling this up is one of the passives that actually are, you are allowed to ability up. A lot of the passives, from what I've seen, you can't. <laughs> so it's nice to see this. So you can see here that the da uh, defense damage conversion ratio uh, goes up to 95, which is the base. No, the base was lower than this, and then it went up to 95, 100, 110, and then you can lower the cooldown of the activation of this. So it will take less crits to trigger it and get it back. I think that's phenomenal. So you could even look at this guy's uh, set right now. He's only running 26 uh, additional crit, which is going to bring him up to 36. That's kind of due, unless, like I said, it's other characters' crits as well. His ultimate explosions in the sky deals damage to the enemy uh, equal to 80% of the attack plus 100% defense scaling off base, by the way. 100% defense scaling. Now, it grants defense up and immunity for two turns. Now, that's where you're supposed to cook. So within those two turns, you're supposed to get this back up, right? You're, that, that's kind of the, the issue with That's what you're trying to do. And I think that's why I think it also includes the crits of other of other characters because I usually see him kind of go conductor mode very quickly. Uh, but I feel like, and this is not this is not the same, um, this is not the same one that's on my friend. This is the one in the review. So you can see that you can level up the defense scaling again and then get the cooldowns down one more turn. So he's a pretty solid guy, which I also like here is that uh, he has 30% uh, defense flat, doesn't matter where you're at. So I usually put him as the leader and he does the Lord's work. This character with the Hades set, this is the basic set, like, like I said, that you see here. And this this set to me is all you need. Uh, I think that the Hades plus defense or, or crit, or like I said, counter, if you wanna keep that going, it's great because especially if, like I said, if you run a counter and you have enough crit, then you keep triggering uh, this thing, whether it's enemies or just yours or even your other allies, you know, then it's all good. You'll be sitting here doing the thunder crack all day and all night. And that's kind of what you want. <laughs> you want that to be done all day and all night. And that's what's good. Like he's not even, what's crazy is that he's not like a hard or difficult character to understand. I think the one thing that you do have to remember is that one thing about countering him. So let's go over to which, oh yeah, see, look, I was trying 10 and he was doing fine until he got stunned so this one is not as built so i won't i won't do seven maybe i'll do six all right so when an active ability triggers a crit reduces the cooldown of this so cooldown is still uh not activated just yet this wave is gonna die so i'll probably wait okay conductor was activated now i should be able to actually look at here okay four right oh i don't want to leave jesus Now it's three. Okay, that was another crit. So it's still three. He's gonna crit like crazy. Bunch of crits there. Still three, okay. So, so far it looks like it's only when he crits. So that's gonna really kinda help you out, not help you out, but it really is gonna make it seem like you definitely probably wanna have him on counter then. Not really have to have him on counter, but if you wanna uh, go with an ability. So let's see, Let, hopefully this guy crits right now. And I'm pretty sure now it's just on two. And he got diseased. Oh, boy. So, not super greedy. He just needs defense and crit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's give this guy another fair shot. I think he deserves a fair shot. Level 10, Kronos. He's not solo, obviously. I'm going to have my people, that, but they're just going to die. Anywho, see if he can do it. I, I really, I really want to showcase how stupid this character is. Now, outside of not trying to solo things, because you can solo things, I do think that having someone with him that gives immunity is also important too, in case his immunity is down, obviously. All right, let's see if they can do it. I'm hoping his animation triggers his S3 animation. Oh, you're dead. Oh yeah, and this is how you die when you bring in too too many weak characters. They just end up getting blown up. See, he's, he didn't trigger that time either. He, he wants revenge. See now my guy in the back, he's dead. Now he gets two turns. 
You can't really bring weak characters into 10, but as you can see, he is, look at that. Look at that sustain. Look at that ability, attack down, so he's gonna stop doing that much damage, plus my attack, 258. You, you wish, you wish you could make him do that little bit of damage. But there, he gets stunned. So the immunity, um, an inability to hold the immunity. Luckily, like I said, he had the attack down there, but see now he might get stunned again. He did not, what a champion. What a champion, oh. Boom, okay, didn't trigger again. Come on, man. I want to see it. Wish you could see it in the in the, the shop thing, but it's not working. So now he has uh, the immunity, so we're fine. That's a decent amount of damage. Boom, baby. There it is. Conductor plus the immunity. Nope. No stupidity this. Nice try. I appreciate your effort. Yep. I feel like maybe you know what? Almost feel like if I switch targets to uh to like the, the one that's stunning me. Well, he's stunning me in the back, but the other one's doing something stupid too. Uh, that's. Uh, I think one of them does stun you in the back. Conductor mode. Resisted. Smack them back. Boom. Still don't get the animation. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I if I actually trigger it, maybe maybe he'll actually do it. But as you can see, what is this thing down to less than fifty? About to be less than fifty. And he got the attack down, which is weird. I don't even think that I, I gotta check this guy's accuracy to see if he even has accuracy. But he's doing the Lord's work. You, you see the Lord's work being done? Because I see it. So, as you can see, like, he's doing really well. Um, I, I don't know how skilled up these things are. I don't, oh, you can't see it from here. Oh, oops. <laughs> so, it's just the resist here. And it's missing because he's actually elemental advantage in this dungeon as well. That's another thing that I wanted to say. So, he's phenomenal if you have to think. Oh, I was stunned somehow. Uh, he's phenomenal when's oh, okay. It, wait, is it because I took control? To be fair, last time I didn't take control. Okay, there we go, and I get my... Come on, come on. I, I just need to see it. I, I, I prefer... Ah, oh, come on! Alright. Even though he's not going to do anything different than I wouldn't do. The AI is just going to use the S3 whenever it's available, so there's really no reason for me to specifically take control. And he should hit him with the, uh, the Mega Zap, and that should get all his HP back. There it is, 15k, uh, zapped right back, so we're right back to the beginning. And he's missing, there goes another attack, conductor mode. I think we'll get it, and this will actually be my first clear, as long as as long as long everything stays on, on course here. Oof. Then, as you can see how important the Hades set is, the Hades set, you, you basically need Hades. You can't, you can't do this without the Hades set. Uh, sustain like this and keep keep him afloat and stuff like that. Oh, uh, look at that. Solo, Kronos 10, pretty much. The other characters died very relatively good. The other, the other characters actually hindered him by giving him those resets which could have, you know, gave him two turns and killed him. So I'd say that having the other characters there actually was more detrimental than anything. <laughs> Boom. I got no S3 animation at all. In the time where I actually wanted it, didn't get it. Can you finish it off with it? Can we get it? Can, can you finish? Wait. Oh, he's gonna kill it with Conductor. Zap. Oh, damn. I was. And that is stage 10 clear. I have no business doing that. Shout outs to Riesel7797. Uh, and this is his thing. I, I, I probably showed this before. I, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but yes, you can see super strong unit. Super, super strong. Was able to sustain himself very well. I still think he can lower his defense a little bit. But as you can see, uh, that is 47... Uh, at least doing a quick math, 4,700 defense that you see right there. Uh, his crit rate is about 50%, so that's pretty good. And his resist is a little bit up to some accuracy in there, which was weird. He was landing this pretty consistently uh, on the boss, which I think was, was game changing to lower the attack on a, on a defensive scaling unit. To lower the enemy's attack and your scaling off defense is actually really huge since they don't have magic and magic defense in this game. Uh, he has this maxed out completely. 
and he has this maxed out completely. He probably will not touch this at all. If anything, he'll maybe get this one little thing here. But hey, two more two more skill ups and he's, he's fully maxed out. His his character is the best it can possibly be. But yes, that's Thor. Uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, if there's a character you want me to go over, whether it's 5 4 or the threes, let me know. I would love to. And if you have a character that you want to showcase to me, maybe I can make some space for your boy on this many magical list of random people. I could definitely take out some of these Lee Lings, you know? Got a lot of them. I gotta take this chick out too. Level seven, he hasn't improved his character whatsoever. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was fantastic. And uh, like this character, I wish I owned him. And uh, well, maybe when uh, we do the Ollie summons, he might come out, you know? But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.